Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today we're going to repaint Chip Hazard from Small Soldiers. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're going to paint Chip Hazard from Small Soldiers. I know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time and I apologize guys. But, um, I've been really sick, so, um, yeah, so I couldn't, you know, edit the video or anything. i just been laying on bed. Anyway, so I wanted to go with a Christmas tree green, because I figured that these were a little bit too light for my liking. Um, in the movie it looks a little bit darker, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, I'm going to color the whole thing, and then I'm going to put it in the stripes later. So, um, let's get started with that. As you could tell, it's uh, for me. I like this green a little bit better. It's a Christmas. I think it was a Christmas tree green, um, or a Christmas green. So uh, that's what I went with. I thought this was the best color for it. Uh, it was more screen accurate than any other color I saw, and um, I just didn't feel like uh, mixing any colors, which I normally do. I mix in my colors to match whatever it was, but this one matched it pretty well, so I just went with it. Um, as you guys could tell, I had to do several layers in order to get the stripes out of there. Um, you guys could still see the stripes over the paint. So I had to do a few layers and that little emblem on the side. Um, I was going to leave it, but then I decided to color it after. Um, because I'm going to do my own little emblems from. Uh, I'm going to do a little molding emblem from... Uh, the nitro in the back, Nick Nitro in the back. The, the Nick Nitro toys actually come with a little emblem on the shoulder and then on, on the little belt buckle. So I did little molds off of that one and then I'm going to paste them on the ones that don't have it, like Chip Hazard and all the other characters don't have it. So, anyway, this is painting the gloves and the boots black just so it could stand out a little bit better. Um, it'll be a more flat color than uh, it originally is. Um, so, but anyways, like I said, guys, I apologize for not, uh, putting up this video any earlier because I was really, really sick. Um, so I apologize. Uh, so this is the silver little plaits that he has on his, on his boots. And also I want to give a quick shout out to Edward Littleton. Um, I didn't do it on my last video. I apologize. I had your name written down on my, when I was doing a live stream and I was going to say your name and everything. I just... <laughs> I had no idea what happened to that piece of paper. So when I started live, I kept searching for that paper, and I was like, I was already live, so um, I apologize. But if you guys like small soldiers and you guys like repaints and all that stuff, all that good uh, jazz, uh, go check out my pal, um, Edward Littleton. Um, this time I had to write down your name, I actually remembered your name. So Edward Littleton, I'm going to leave a link down below. Go check out his channel, guys. He likes small soldiers way more than I do. Um, he's a very, very big Small Soldiers fan, so go check out his channel. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a link down below so you guys can go check him out. If you guys don't see the link, it's because I completely forgot. I'm still kind of sick, guys. I'm still kind of getting over it, so I apologize. Like I said, I'm like kind of out of it. I'm taking medicine, so I'm a little under the medicine. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, I'll leave his link to his channel down below. Go check him out, guys. Uh, get him to a few subscribers at least, you know. Let him hit a few subscribers, guys. If you guys like small soldiers, definitely go check out his channel. Um, anyways, so these are the stripes. I try to make it as accurate as possible to uh, to the movie itself. But I noticed um, they don't just use one prop to do the whole movie. They use so many props. And I've and I seen uh, they had this whole assembly line of uh, Chip Hazard. And their stripes were completely different on all of them. Um, for the most part, they kind of matched whatever it was on the one character that I was going based on. But um, for the most part, at least, um, they didn't really show the back of it. So the back of it, I just had to wing it uh, as far as the stripes go and all that. So, um, so yeah, I, I like the way it came out. Uh, honestly, I love the way this guy came out. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Um, Nick Nitro is another one, really cool character. Um, I, I got all of them, honestly, but this is one of my favorites. So, um, I got the stripes down pretty well. At least, I think so. Um, 
So let me know in the comments down below if you guys like it. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, this is me I completely done with the stripes. This is the back, or this is the front and the back of it. I really love the way it turned out. Um, so now this is the hair part. The hair part was a little bit. I, I didn't want to go too too dark, but I didn't want to go too light either. Uh, I know that he has little white highlights all through his hair. Um, this is the gray that I thought mostly matched his the actual screen colored one. His eyebrows I had to go a little bit a, l a little bit thicker than it originally was because uh, a little bit thicker would. Uh, we'll make him look better, I guess. And then, so I had to do the stripes on this guy. I noticed I had a bunch of little stripes going, little highlights on his hair that I had to do. So, um, this I had to do over and over and over again because <laughs> it, it, like, I couldn't get the right stripes on there. Like I said, when you when you go through different toys or different uh, references, it gives you different pictures. Like some of the stripes are different places and so on and so forth. So um, I had to paint out the the eyeballs because for some reason they painted the eyebrows brown on this guy for some reason. It was uh, I don't know why, but on the movie his eye uh, his eyeballs are actually blue or his pupils are actually blue. So I wanted to, you know, color them blue. It didn't really look blue on this guy. The original color was brown on this guy. So, um, so I just colored his eyes white, and now I'm gonna go in with the blue and um, color his little pupils. This is easier to do with the marker, like you guys see right here. Uh, with the marker, it's a lot easier to do because you could just lay down the ink and it should be good um, if you guys are preci precise with the with the um, paintbrush then by all means go ahead whatever works for you guys do it <laughs> I know Edward had asked me about doing the weapons and he had told me um, uh, what do I suggest for him to do the weapons with and I said whatever you feel comfortable with he usually uses glue guns to do all the all his crafts so I was like go with the glue gun if you feel comfortable with glue then with the glue gun by all means do it that way like art is what you feel comfortable with that's what art is you know so I feel comfortable doing stuff with polymer clay so that's why I, I, I would personally use that as the weapons but whatever you feel comfortable with I suggest you go with that so anyways this is me uh, painting the belt I felt that the belt needed to be a little bit lighter than it originally was, so I painted it. And so I go on with the vest. Um, there was no references on the vest, like oh, well, there was a lot of references, but they were all completely different. Like I said, as far as the polka dots go, so I had to just wing it and just go with whatever I thought looked best. And so um, I originally wasn't gonna paint the whole vest, but at the end I was like, uh, I'll just paint it because. It does technically look a little bit lighter than uh, what we have here, what it originally had. So I just colored it a little bit lighter. And I love the way it turned out, like I said. I, I dig it. It's really cool. Um, this is a little monitor thing that he has on his chest. Um, it's a little intercom or whatever it is, a little speaker thing. So just color it with the marker, with the Sharpie. And then uh, this is a uni or uh, a paint paint marker. And then I'm going with the fine fine paintbrush to do a little white, the little yellow uh, intercom thing. I don't know what it is that's in here. So yeah, you just have to be. It's really hard to get these little small details. So I mean, nobody's really gonna pay atten too much attention to it. So just do whatever you can. So there that is, and then so I painted the bomb, as you guys could tell, I painted the bomb uh, green. Um, unfortunately, I didn't show that. And then here I was painting the vest, the little marks, but the marks weren't dark enough, so I had to go back and do a darker brown. You guys could tell on the left side of the vest is a little bit lighter, and on the right side it's darker, so I had to go with a darker color. I thought uh, 
it suited it better. So basically, I was just going for cow shapes. <laughs> um, I did have a few references, a little few pictures to see uh, the shapes. I just basically saw a shape and I just put it. I put it. It's not in the right place, but it's basically the same shapes that it has in the movie. Just not in the right places, basically. But I mean, whatever looks good. We're just gonna. Nobody's actually gonna get the picture of uh, you know Chip Hazard and put it right next to your your character here and then be like, hey, this is off or this doesn't look right. Whatever looks good to you guys, whatever makes you guys happy, I suggest you do it. It's, you know, this is why I do this because I I love doing it. I enjoy. I literally enjoy like. I love painting. I I love art. I love every form of art. So uh, I really relax doing these things. Like it's a form of meditation for me. You know. All right, guys, so we are completely done with Chip Hazard. Uh, as you guys can tell, it's all done. Looks completely different. I repainted the whole thing. <laughs> so there he is. Painted the gloves. I took this little thing that he had off. I didn't like that very much. Repainted all this. This, I will end up doing another little emblem, and then I'm going to be um, gluing a little emblem to it. I'm making the actual emblem. Um, if you guys missed my live uh, stream, uh, which most of you did, <laughs> but anyways, uh, I did this little molds, and then I'm gonna fill it up, make a mold out of out of this thing, and then paste it there so they could all have their own little emblems. So, anyways, I love the way this guy turned out. Really nice, really cool looking. Um, he originally doesn't have that bomb, but I ended up just leaving it there, and I gave it a little. A color that won't stand out too much it'll kind of blend into the background so um, so I just left it on there because I know if I take that off there's a big old hole that's gonna stay there um, it's like an imprint there and it's not this uh, chest plate that, or this chest um, uh, part of the toy or whatever you want to call it it's not completely uh, it's not solid it's hollow inside so if I was to cut this off, it, it'll. Unfortunately, I had to learn the hard way, because <laughs> I had cut one of these for one of the another character that I'm doing. I'm remaking this guy into another character. So um, when I cut this guy, when I cut these bombs off, it was completely hollow and it was it left a big old hole in there. So, anyways, I fixed it, but that's what would happen if I was to take that. So I don't want to really risk that and take that, but and then I painted the little zipper. Uh, gold and then I will put put another emblem in here as well I'll, like the molds that I have I have a little mold on it and I'll glue it on there once uh, once I'm done with that um, but there's the back of him and then also I did the eyeballs you guys can see his eyeballs are blue now and then I also did uh, his eye wait did I say eyeballs or eyebrows his eyeballs are blue now, and his uh, eyebrows are completely white and a little bit thicker. I made him look a little bit thicker. And also, if you guys could see, the hair has all that stuff in it. All those little streaks that he has in the original movie. So I added that in there, too. So, anyways. And then, silver boots. Or the little silver plaits on his, on his boots. Uh, unfortunately, I touched it when the paint was still wet and keep smearing <laughs> so anyways i kind of like how it looks rough like that like he's you know had some work or he's been on war he's been um you know fighting so looks pretty cool like that so anyways his boots are done everything's done and chip has it it's complete alongside oh this guy i haven't finished it off I'm still working on his tattoo. And then, but other than that, where's my repaints? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't hit, forget to hit the thumbs up because it does help me out a lot. And uh, that'll show your support towards the channel. It's just by hitting, simply hitting the thumbs up uh, and subscribing for that matter. If you guys do subscribe, guess what? 
Yes, we'll see me on the next one. Peace.